And hello, everybody. Good to have you with us. This is your host, Jim Masters. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm your host live worldwide on the Jim Masters Show. If you're just joining us for the first time, we welcome you. We're here every single night. I must be crazy. Every single night, 7 p.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Pacific, right here at Jim Masters TV. We simulcast on Facebook as well as YouTube at Jim Masters TV. And it's a talk show. It's an entertainment show. We've done music. We've done food. We've done some deep conversations with great guests. And we've had some really cool fun conversation with our fabulous viewers from all around the world. If you are just joining us for the first time, well, I'm a television and radio host. I've been doing that for a long time. I'm a journalist, an actor, a voiceover narrator, as well as stage host, writer, and producer. So I sort of do this for a living. And for the longest time, so many people have asked me to do this on social media, sort of create a show. So on Facebook, I always post these real positive things called master's mantras. They're observations about life and little quips and really to try to lift people up. I try to inspire people and empower people as much as possible during the course of my day. And so many people love that. They wanted me to expand it further. They didn't want me to write a book on it, which we are actually in the process of doing. But they also wanted me to launch something like uh, you know, a talk show type of situation, entertainment show here on social media. So because I've been so busy, uh, and our guest will tell you just in a minute, my dear friend Maureen Nesbitt is joining us from uh, Celtic Woman and Rocktopia and Celtic Heart and so many other wonderful uh, venues and projects and productions. You know, when you're always this busy and you're always flying in planes or you're in taxis or you're on trains or driving and you're in studios and at events and working, you don't always get a chance to do this kind of work. So I'm so blessed that about three weeks ago, this is our third week, we launched the Gym Masters show live here on Facebook and YouTube. And it has just taken off by leaps and bounds. And so many people that I know, friends and colleagues and industry people, have wanted to hop on as guests on the show. We had uh, Rain Pryor, uh, incredible Rain Pryor, who's running for office in uh, Baltimore as we speak. And she is a playwright and composer. And she's a songwriter. She's a comedian and the daughter of Richard Pryor, the legendary comedian. She was with us just a couple of nights ago. We had the legendary playwright Dan Goggin with us, who created the Broadway hit Nonsense. We had uh, Reno Venturi, a uh, legendary acting coach, casting director, performer, composer as well. Last night, we had Las Vegas comedian Bill Hildebrandt. He joined us as well, and so many others have been with us. It's been truly, truly a blessing. Next week, the award-winning actor, film, and television legend Tony Lobianco will be joining me here live exclusively on Monday for a very special Memorial Day tribute. And he's going to be debuting a very special video here on the show that has reached 60 million views. And it's in tribute to the veterans and those on Memorial Day. So actor, film and television legend, uh, Tony Lobianco will be with us on Monday. Tuesday uh, of next week, uh, award-winning actress Liz Kiefer is gonna be joining me here on the Jim Masters Show. You may know her from the soap opera, Guiding Light. She was on that soap opera for 27 years on CBS. I interviewed her on the radio just a couple of weeks ago on Close Up Radio, and I told her I was doing the Gym Master Show. She said, I wanna be on that. So she's hopping on Tuesday. We're gonna have a good time with Liz Kiefer next week. Also, we've got James F. Taylor Jr. joining us soon. He is a terrific uh, musical artist. And we also have somebody that I interviewed several years ago on PBS. Loretta LaRoche, I was just chatting with her this morning. She's so excited to be here. We've become dear friends as a lot of the guests of the show here uh, are friends of mine and people that I know personally or professionally. And she is a stress management expert. She's a humorist, she's an author. And you may remember uh, her incredibly popular public television specials. And I got a chance uh, to interview her in the studio and it was a riot. The whole studio erupted with laughter. The phones were ringing off the hook and it was terrific. So she does a lot of TED talks and she works with corporations to help them get through things. And she's a humorist, a stress management expert, and she's amazing. She's gonna be with us next Thursday, a week from tonight here on the Jim Masters show as well. And so many more guests. We had Pavlo with us too. Pavlo this week, you know, Pavlo, the internationally renowned guitarist, 
interviewed him multiple times on public television, told him we were doing the Jim Masters show. He said, hey, Jim, I want to hop on and be your guest. And we had a brilliant show together, a lot of fun. He played for us as well. Uh, he whipped out the guitar. And uh, we just had a really grand time with Pavlo as my guest just a couple of nights ago. All of these shows are archived at Facebook at Jim Masters TV, as well as on YouTube at Jim Masters TV. So you can follow the page uh, on YouTube, Jim Masters TV, and subscribe if you like. You can also uh, like this page, Jim Masters TV on Facebook. More videos, more shows coming up. You can also find me on Instagram at Jim Masters TV and Twitter at Jim Masters TV as well. So as always, we have a few things that we do here. You know, we have our cast of characters, right? We believe in light and levity. We've been going through some really unusual challenges and times around the world. So one of our sidekicks here is, of course, the legendary comedian George Byrne. This is the authentic George Byrne's doll. And this was uh, my aunt's and it became my cousin Barbara's and she passed it down to me because uh, of course, uh, television icon and comedian. He's got a cigar, he's got his glasses. And I had this on a nostalgic week we did uh, a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago. We whipped out all our childhood memories and toys and all the viewers did the same thing. It was a lot of fun. And I showed everybody this and they said they wanted me to keep this on the show. So he is sort of like my Ed McMahon, my sidekick here on the Gym Masters show. Again, just trying to put smiles on your faces and, and inspire and some light and levity. And of course, the authentic hand-painted I Dream of Jeannie bottle as well. Jeannie's still in there. Again, she's not happy because she hasn't been able to do her hair because the hair salons have been closed. And since she's been quarantined in there since March, she has not been able to do it because she lost her powers. You good in there, Jeannie? Yes, master. <laughs> so Jeannie is uh, our regular here on the show as well. And then I was on a television shoot in Europe last year. We picked this up, debuted it just a couple of nights ago for fun. And everybody said, keep that on the show as well. And it's, of course, our dog, Silver. Silver is here as well. Puts a smile on your face. And one other here on the Gym Masters show, as we like to have a lot of light and levity, as you know. You got to laugh. You got to smile. You know, most of the work I do is professional and serious stuff. So you got to have some fun. Jimmy the Clown as well, which was a gift from my parents when I was a child, made of porcelain lasted this long so he says hello as well and uh everybody asks if i don't put jimmy on everybody says where's jimmy and then of course here on the gym master show more fun we go hollywood on this show we all the stops are whipped out for you our faithful viewers we go hollywood and we say a little lights camera and action all right we're all smiles it is time now normally we do the celebrity birthdays but i want to spend a good amount of time with my dear friend and my very special guest who is really taking the time to join me here. I am talking about Grammy and Emmy nominated artist, composer, founding member, member of the global phenomenon, Celtic woman, Renee Nesbitt. She's enchanted millions of fans around the world, featured Celtic violinists on all 11 Celtic woman albums, each achieving number one slots in the Billboard World Music Chart. Former All-Ireland Fiddle Champion and Irish Youth Orchestra member, Maraid is a CIT Cork School of Music and London Royal Academy alum. She is an Irish Music Magazine Best Traditional Artist and multiple Irish Music Awards recipient. Cited by the New York Times as a demon of a fiddle player, and that she is. She is absolutely incredible. And she's beautiful inside and out. And again, I've had an opportunity. We've known each other. It's almost 20 years now that we've known each other uh, when Celtic Woman was created and brought to public television. Maraid has two Billboard charting solo albums in the world music, classical crossover, classical and uh, heat seeker charts to her credit, reigning up at her new solo album, which is spectacular. I don't know if you have heard it, but it really is absolutely amazing. I was listening to it again today. Hibernia. Hibernia is unbelievably beautiful. She's also a guest violinist and composer on many award-winning CDs with international artists as well. And uh, she and I have worked on a lot of different projects uh, via public television and uh, also at Carnegie Hall with our dear friend, uh, Tim Janis. In 2017, Maraid also released the album Devil's Bit Sessions, charting in the Billboard, Billboard World Music Charts, and it explores the rich musical heritage of the Nesbitt family. That's right. A past member of the RTE Concert Orchestra of Ireland, 
Moraine has been a guest soloist with orchestras in the USA and internationally, including the City of Hong Kong Chamber Orchestra, the Bern Symphony Orchestra, and the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra as well. Mairead has launched her own incredible violin line, Mairead Nesbitt Celtic Violin Collection, which is available uh, at the website, MaireadNesbittViolin.com, and from select stores in the United States and Ireland. Don't you just love that picture? That is really, or Mairead really is a firecracker. She really is a spitfire. She is such a bundle of energy, and I've got a chance to see her on stage. I've done a lot of work with her. I've seen her backstage. It's She's just incredible, and one of the nicest people in the music and entertainment industry you'll ever get a chance to meet or work with. She's just all heart. Um, she also launched in 2019 Mairead's Celtic-inspired jewelry collection, Solstice, as well, which is available at solstice-jewelry-by-mairead-nesbitt.myshopify.com. Now, having performed for three U.S. presidents at the White House and the Pentagon, Mairead has performed in iconic venues worldwide, including Radio City Music Hall, Carnegie Hall, which uh, actually I had an opportunity to welcome her on stage through some of the Tim Janis spectacular, beautiful Christmas shows. And we've worked with some fabulous artists who actually join us there. Also, she's performed at a place I was at. I showed you some uh, video of, I did a television interview last year, which uh, was on national television at Red Rocks. Red Rocks is a spectacular, beautiful place in Colorado. And um, she performed there as well as in Hyde Park. Mairead made her Broadway debut. And I had a wonderful opportunity to go because she and I, of course, know one of the creators, Rob Evan. He was also uh, a guest that I had an opportunity to interview on public television. Um, she made her Broadway debut with a spectacular Rocktopia in 2019. It's marked uh, Mairead's fifth time also performing at Carnegie Hall with artists uh, such as Celtic Woman and Tim Janis and special guests. Again, she is just absolutely incredible. Look at there. Yeah. She's just, she puts her heart and soul into everything. She's also, again, Tori Kelly, Colby Kelly, who were with us last year at uh, Carnegie Hall. Us, the duo, and many, many others. Uh, Alex Boyer and you just name it. She is extraordinary. She's as uh, wonderful a person as she is talented. And I was thinking about the lineup of guests that I wanted to have on the show as we launched this show just three weeks ago. She was at um, top of list, as was Pablo and some of the others who've been with us, like Rain Pryor, Richard Pryor's daughter, and some of the others. And it is my honor and pleasure to welcome my dear, dear friend to the show. She's all excited. Parade Nesbitt, there she is. Hi, oh, Jim. Thank you. How for are me. you? How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. It's so lovely to be on. Thanks so much for having me. It is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. How have you been? I know you were telling me before we uh, went live that you literally just rushed in from uh, the studio to get ready for this interview, or not even interview, this conversation among friends, uh, because you were working on a major uh, collaboration video, which is something pretty cool, huh? Yeah, well, you know, Jim, as you said, um, you touched off before, you know, this this time has really given people um, lots of creative outlets. And, you know, I think collaborations, you know, with other people has always been a strong point of mine. I love playing with other people. I absolutely love it. I love and um, I love playing with, with, you know, in different styles. And, and um, I had a social distanced <laughs> rehearsal, the first one I've had in a long time since this started mm. uh, with, with, with a, a great uh, rock band, uh, Godsmack. And it's a, it's a heavy wow. rock band. And, yeah. uh, so anyway, um, they were amazing. And, um, you know, it's just lovely to collaborate with different people, have a few uh, different collaborations going on in different genres, you know, so it's it's nice. And now I'm back in my cocoon, isolating myself again. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. So what has that been like? I mentioned to people on uh, this show, as well as other shows, that it's been an interesting situation. Like, for example, normally I would be doing the television shoots and I'd be flying here, there, everywhere. But, you know, the planes are grounded and there's really no shoots happening. So we've been doing radio shows out of the home studio. Have you been doing a lot of stuff out of sort of your home office, home studio, Tumorate? 
I have, Jim. You know, I have I've do a little live uh, broadcast every Monday, Maraid Mondays myself. It's, 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 a, it's a wonderful way for me to connect with my fans because, as you know, Jim, you know, my fans are my family yeah. and I, I really am I'm loyal to them and they love hopping on every Monday and, and uh, they're very good for doing so. And I have a guest every week and um, my last last week's guest was Secret Garden. So mm. it's just so amazing. You raise me up, of course. We all know that. Yes. And, you know, so and then again with the collaborations with people and also with my website is very busy with with the the online shop. <laughs> thank God. So mm -hmm. that's really great that my little tiny business is 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 keeping going and people are, you know, they want to learn music and they want to have a violin or they want, you know, because there's a sale happening at the moment as for spring, there's 10% right. off all music and accessories and my mother's tutorial book as well. And I think it gives people a chance in this time to do something they wouldn't normally be doing, you know? Right, right. exactly. Um, uh, that's what everybody's been doing. They've been creating and innovating and very entrepreneurial, and they've been uh, coming up with different new creations because we've all had to adjust to this sort of new way of being with the social distancing and everything else that's happening. So uh, that's cool that you've been able to still do the things you need to do and stay connected with everybody because the key to what we do as communicators is staying connected with those people who support us and follow us and do the uh, wonderful things as far as showing up and watching and viewing and being there, right? That's you're so right, Jim. You know, um, with the concerts being uh, slightly more pushed back and postponed. Yeah. You know, I have my first concert, I believe, is in October now, and um, so of October, November, and December, they're supposed to be happening. But you know, I mean, people can keep in touch as you as you are doing. You know, online and on your live stream, and you know, of course, there's some great platforms like I'm on Bands in Town and my website, and you know, people can track me and they can even and ask for me to play in there in different areas you know so that's really nice I keep in contact with people like that too. send them little messages and I just think it's really important and you've always been amazing like this Jim um you know to to really know that your loyal followers are are really so important you know and, and to keep in contact with them is is, is huge Absolutely. Uh, and you and I, as I was saying, you know, doing the introduction, uh, we, it's amazing and it's a blessing when these things happen in, you know, industries like ours that we've actually become very good, dear friends. And when we're together working on projects or, or if it's social with other colleagues and friends, we always have such a phenomenal time and we always pick up where we left off. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I know it is amazing, but I mean, that's a true friend, Jim, you know, you just pick up where you left off and we might not have been talking for a while, but we always pick up where we left off. And the last, the last time was New York and Carnegie Hall, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that was a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great weekend. Oh my goodness. And all, with, with, with the great Tim Janice, you know, Absolutely. And, and all special guests, you know, and it was just, it always is fantastic. It really, really is. Let's go back a little bit for you know the audience who are watching, and there could be a few people maybe that are discovering you for the first time, even though you've been doing this for a long time. How did you first get started? Did you come? You did come from a musical family, didn't you? In I do, I do. I'm blessed, Jim, to come from the most amazing musical family. And my mother and father are uh, really living encyclopedias of music. They walk, talk and breathe music. And we did, we, we breathed music growing up and um, it was just, and is just a way of life, you know? And, um, you know, I think from that point of view, all, also their minds are very open to all different genres, you know? Right. Um, um, they're obviously Irish traditional musicians, but they love other types of music as well. And my sister and myself and all of us, uh, my four brothers, <laughs> all play um, different types of music, you know, but as well as Celtic, you know. Mm, that's amazing, too. So they, you know, they must be obviously very proud of your career and your commitment to music. I mean, it's something that you just it's in your DNA. You were meant to do this. Obviously, you got the early uh, inclinations from your family, but you took it to levels that are beyond probably anything anybody would have ever dreamed. Right. Oh, well, thank you for saying that, Jim. You're so good. <laughs> 
And hopefully you're still with me. My computer decided to go to sleep there. Oh, you're there. Yep, we got you. I'm here. Oh, good. You are there. You are there. Well, I'm there. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm just going to, I want to get you back here. So very good. <laughs> live, Jim, live. It's live. It's worldwide. It's live. It's technology, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts is what it is. <laughs> I know, I know it's nuts, it is, it is. But um, now we were talking about my family, of course, and- And how uh, you've gone beyond probably anything that anybody would have ever dreamed to these extraordinarily international uh, levels that are just breathtaking. And they're probably very proud, I'm sure. They are very proud of me, you know, and they're proud of us all, but they are very proud of me because it's not the easiest job no, in the world. Not at and, all. you know, it's not, um, you know, as you said before, traveling, you're traveling a lot and you're, you're, it's, it's a very, um, almost like a fair weather job, you know, uh, you know, right. it's kind of, you have to, you have to be a certain mindset, you know, and very kind of uplifting and, you know, positive kind of person to to kind of cope with some of the things you know but I think um they are very proud of me and um well look I just got it all from them you know that's it that's it that's usually that's what I say when people say the same thing if you look at your family uh your parents grandparents a lot of the attributes you were witness to when you were younger and you sort of absorb them and then you just take them to another level so you know it's, it's beautiful when you get a chance to really do that now you've performed, as I mentioned, and that, that intro is really just the short version of your biography that I know from all the years um, together. You and I first met, for the folks that are watching, when you came into the television studio when Celtic Woman had first been created and you were one of the founding members of Celtic Woman and we got a chance to chat with all of them, all great people. Uh, Celtic Woman was sort of an interesting experiment, wasn't it? It wasn't necessarily something that was supposed to be what it became. It turned into that, right? Tell us about that story. Yeah, that's true, Jim. Um, and actually, I remember that very first night. And I remember after that, it was a long, we did a few hours on that PBS show. And we all, even though we were all tired, we were all in great form. And right. you made it like that. And I think I said on, on air, Jim Masters is our favorite TV host. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You that. yeah, that's I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. So, I mean, Celtic Woman, you know, at the very beginning, it was supposed to be one night, Jim, one night. And right, yeah. um, none of, you know, um, I knew some of the girls, but I didn't know them all, you know. And like over the series of rehearsals that we did, everything just clicked on stage. And PBS brought us into everybody's living rooms, mm -hmm. literally everybody's living rooms, and it shot up mm -hmm. from there. And and the girls are still going, obviously, you know. And um, their tour is, is next year, and I I believe. <laughs> but you know, um, it's it's a uh, really amazing what Celtic Woman have done over the years, and it's the fifth. 15th anniversary this year it's hard that's right to is that amazing that's hard yeah. to believe isn't it it is so it is. when you decide to you decided to do your solo career really focus on you and your craft was that a hard decision for you Marade, to to sort of not you didn't totally break away from celtic woman you're you're there you have a great relationship with them of course yeah. but wanted to really foster your own career and develop yourself even further. Was that a hard decision or is that something you always knew you wanted to do? Yeah, I mean, it's always something that I've kind of trickled along uh, parallel with Celtic Woman and with anything I've done. And um, certainly my first album was even before Celtic Woman, you know, right. and, and then the second one was, was coincided. Um, and then, you know, I just think it's important to um, do, do your own uh, creative output as well. And um, also, you know, I got to go to the Grammys, you know, with Celtic Woman uh, for Destiny. And that That's was... Right. An amazing thing to be nominated for for the Grammy and we had such a great time over the weekend and you know it's um, my relationship with them all with all the girls and and the management is very close and it's just you know it's just one of those phenomenons like like Riverdance or Lords and Lord of the Dance and a lot of a lot of different shows like that. 
That's exactly what happened. And of course, uh, we mentioned Carnegie Hall and you and I have been involved with Tim with Carnegie Hall as well. And how do you enjoy that whole process with that Christmas concert and everything else with Carnegie Hall? It's breathtaking, isn't it? I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. It is every musician's dream to play Carnegie Hall of practice. That's all you heard as, as a kid, you That's know, right. when you get to Carnegie Hall. And um, to be um, on my, my fifth journey there now is, is amazing. And I feel very honored, very, very honored to be on that stage every time I, I get to go on. And um, it's, you know, with, with Tim, Tim Janis is such an amazing musician and um, such an amazing composer and filmmaker and you know he gets the best people around him all the time and um, Carnegie Hall is certainly the dream it's the dream come true it really really is and as a matter of fact I want to show some folks here we got a little clip actually of uh, behind the scenes from this oh, yeah. Past, yeah from this past uh, holiday season at uh, Carnegie Hall and you were practicing and of course uh, everybody was uh, just bowled over by your work but here we go Isn't that terrific? <laughs> that was just a few months ago, right? <laughs> you brought in, you brought. <laughs> That's it, taking you with the cell phone, absolutely. Uh, but it was really, I mean, the sound of the orchestral uh, instruments accompanying you in Carnegie Hall is unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, and the acoustic there is is fantastic too. And, that, and the hall itself, the, what it looks like on the inside and- Yeah outside walking up to it and just seeing you know it, it actually um i did two concerts in carnegie hall that it last the last time i was there because i did um i did a concert with my very very good friend allison cambridge that's right soprano and she, she had me as her guest uh in in one of the in the um hall there and and then you know obviously tim's fabulous concert as well so it was lovely to have two posters of me <laughs> Carnegie Hall, then down, then another one up. That's right. I, but they were up at the same time. Oh, they were? They both? They were, they were, yeah, they were. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was walking past and I thought, oh, that's lovely. That's great. I'll take a photo of that. That's brilliant. And then I went, hang on a second. Oh, wow, there's another one. So mm -hmm. it's just, it's nice. I, you know, it's lovely that, it's lovely that they do that, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're, they're wonderful with that. Also, um, speaking of New York, Broadway, Rocktopia, our friend Rob Evan as well. And uh, I got a chance to go and see it and it was fantastic. We brought a bunch of colleagues and friends, they loved it as well. What was that like for you to be a part of Rocktopia, which is a little bit different than Celtic Woman and some of the other things, the blending of you know, rock with, with classical, with orchestral sounds and pop sounds blended together in this incredible, brilliant performance. What was that like for you, of course, being on Broadway too, Maraid? Oh my goodness, Jim, it was absolutely another dream, another dream come true. Um, it was incredible. Um, we were there for quite quite a while and we were at the Broadway uh, theater, which is, um, I believe the biggest theater uh, on Broadway, certainly the second, the, yeah. I think it's the biggest. And, yeah. um, you know, every single night, it was incredible. The audience were incredible. And of course we had different, um, 
uh, rock stars on on stage with us uh, every night and and you know you're so right it brought me out of my comfort zone it was probably the easiest easiest easy easily right. <laughs> the hardest <laughs> thing that i had to play really you know starting off with um with uh, baba o'reilly you know the the who and then going into the mozart was uh you know really uh, terrorized me every night yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was, I was going out on stage just it didn't matter if it was the first night or the last night i was still terrified and you know going, oh i can't believe i've to start this show it's all it all hinges on me at the very beginning you know so, it does wow. you really kick it off Amazing. where does all your energy come from a lot of people probably say that because you're always so energized and so passionate you love what you do uh, and we're both blessed in that way that we love the work that we do. So hopefully that, you know, feeds off and is, uh, inspires others and transpires to other people. They see the passion that we have for the work we do. Where do you think yours comes from, Maraid? I mean, I think um, I think definitely the audience gives me a passion every night. It, because the audience is different every yeah. night, um, it, it gives me... Um, there's just that different element of surprise you know and it, it, it really boosts up your energy level you yeah. know and of course the music that i'm playing as well I've, I've been so very lucky to play amazing music in celtic woman amazing music in rocktopia lord of the dance you know and being on the sessions for river dance and diff just different things that i do with different people mm -hmm. you know and, and and obviously tim jance's new show celtic heart you know so um these all of this music gives you energy because it's so well it certainly gives me energy anyway and hopefully i i impart it to other people as well you know but uh, i just love performing jim i i, I just do. think it's a, a privilege that i get to do something i love you know yeah, absolutely right. And you can see it and you can feel it when you perform Maraid. Speaking of Celtic Heart, that was a wonderful production that uh, we were all involved in, which was, it was an honor for me to do the work and interviews with all of the artists behind the, the scenes there and the opportunity to do uh, the national PBS pledge breaks and all and help Tim and, and Elizabeth through the process as well and work with you and uh, the whole group, Dustin Cross with his designs and yeah. uh, Mir McGowan and the Harp Twins, everybody, just a brilliant, brilliant crew that we had. And uh, the special turned out beautiful, really, really did airing on uh, PBS. And we had you also come in the studio and we did some chat in the studio as well. I want to show, this is a behind the scenes clip. This isn't a professional clip from the show, a little behind the scenes with my cell phone uh, while we're there, while we're doing some rehearsals and it's beautiful. Even the rehearsals were spectacular. This is uh this was filmed in Maine. Uh the clips actually uh or the, the special itself, Maine, some from Ireland and California too. Yeah. So you talk about, you know, uh, international flavor and flair. Here is uh behind the scenes a little bit with uh the incredible absolutely beautiful and for folks watching that that was just the rehearsals i yeah. mean that looks like the finished product that was just shot that on the cell phone because we were working with uh my friend harriet one of the producers um for the pledge breaks what was that like too i mean so many friends so many fellow talented artists we saw lynn hillary there and yes. you're going lynn, and so many yes. others oh yes absolutely jim lynn hillary Emer mcgone the harp twins ella is one of the vocalists as well. That's right. Um, um, oh, it's just just amazing. Um, the, that isn't that theme beautiful. It's like it should be, I don't know, in in in, in a Scottish movie or something. It's so right. beautiful, you know. Absolutely, I yeah. love playing it. That was a part of, um, you know, television history because again, that was just shot last year and it's aired uh, multiple times on public television, which is really. Amazing. So we didn't get a chance to be a part of all these cool things. And I want to show people, I want to go back in time a little bit here. My dear friend, Maraid, I have a few photos to show people because you know how people love to look at photos. Here is, and you know, it's wonderful. We both look the same. Uh, here is, I would say probably the very first time that we met on television when we were paired together with our other wonderfully talented friend, Lisa Kelly from Celtic Women at the time. Here is the very first time that we were together in the studio and I interviewed you and Lisa on set on public television. And that was when Celtic Woman was uh, really brand new. And another great shot of us too at the uh, PBS studio. 
Here's some more shots over the years of all the fun we've had together. There's Chloe Agnew as well, and some more performances. I emceed a lot of the concerts for Celtic Woman over the years, too, for public television. So we've had some wonderful opportunities there. And, of course, with our friend Tim, and this is at uh, Carnegie Hall, Tim Janis. Of course, I believe this was at another concert event as well, having some more fun. And here, there we are. Hey. And uh, here is uh, Celtic Heart, the whole crew there afterwards, again, shot in Maine. This was after Carnegie Hall with all our friends. You can see everybody, you can see Joey and Tiffany Lauren in there as well. Tiffany's uh, wonderful. Yes. And oh boy, there's so many other. There we are, Carnegie Hall, of course. This was just this past year. And this was up in Maine with the Harp Twins and Maroon. Um, this was after the concerts. Uh, this is when we were doing the backstage interviews at the theater in Maine. Let's see. And that's with Tiffany. We yes. all went for uh, dinner and cocktails after in New York, which was wonderful. And there, of course, with Paul Green and Tom Rhodes, that's at Carnegie Hall yes. backstage. And uh, another shot with uh, our wonderful friend Tiffany. Uh, that was great. This was fun too, remember? Oh my God, <laughs> OMG. There's a whole story to that, folks. We'll have to have her back. We'll talk about that in another episode. <laughs> There's a whole story to that. That was a whole uh, treat. Uh, and of course, that was uh, another great event too that uh, we were involved in. And this was actually, look at that Look at that crew, like the original yeah. crew there. When you guys came into the studio with Celtic uh, Woman and um, that was really, you see Alex Sharp there, everybody, Lynn Hillary, Lisa, there's another shot there, another one. I tell you, we, we, we look the same. You look the same. <laughs> you what know, happened to you, Tim? You probably right. do. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't change, right? It's just, uh, you just look the same, but that's a lot of years of friendship and a lot of years of good times and a lot of years of music and television and and, you know, and again, when you get a chance to do work that you love, Marade, there's nothing better, right? That is true. I mean, look at all those photos, those memories. And, you know, just with the best people, I mean, we had such a, a great, great time. We're still having a great time. Isn't it fantastic? Even now, even in this time, I mean, I think, I think, you know, we'll, we'll all overcome this, of course. I don't think it, I know it. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just one of those, those uh, little bumps in the journey and, exactly. and those memories just to cherish them. It's fantastic and make more. That's right. More to come, more to come. I want to share another clip here, another video that we have, and we can talk about it after some more beautiful Marie music. Here we go.
That's unbelievable. <laughs> that is so fantastic. Tell us about that, the making of that and what that was like, uh, Marie. Well, you know, that's called Becoming and it's from the Invasion Suite um, on Hibernia, my album. Mm -hmm. And really, um, I, I, made, I made that video. I think that video was made for the St. Patrick's, for the N NBC, for St. Patrick's Day Parade. Um, La last year or the year before mm -hmm. and they said that they would like to show something from ireland and um i was playing at the governor's breakfast and they said oh we'd love we'd love you to to be we're going to show a video of yours um you know just uh before the parade starts which of course is is a big deal you know and so as you can see there's loads of great scenery from ireland and um that castle that you see is lockmore castle mm -hmm. yeah. it's only about a mile down from my parents house so um it's that's that's the castle that we shouldn't have climbed as children because it's you know derelict yeah. but <laughs> 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 but <laughs> never looks great. It does. <laughs> yes. That's funny. <laughs> the secret is out. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And it's just so majestic and you know, just to see the fields of Ireland and yeah. uh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It absolutely is. I tell you, I, we've got some wonderful comments coming in too. Love to take comments from all of our uh, viewers. We have a, an international audience here on yeah. the Gym Masters show. Just want to let everybody know that we are here live 7 p.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Pacific every single night. That's amazing, Jim. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> when things start uh, kicking up again, I'm going to have to figure out how I do this while I do all the professional stuff. Hey, yeah. stop the shoot. I got to go in the closet and do my stream. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Uh, Oh, this is a wonderful uh, follower. Uh, she follows me everywhere. She's a beautiful person, a beautiful soul. Eileen Barker uh, from Australia. Oh, my. Marie Nesbitt, the beautiful violin player extraordinaire. Seen her in Celtic Heart, concert with Tim Janis, York, Maine, April 2019. What energy. Absolutely. Karen Levitt says, hi, Jim. Great to be here for the show. They all say hello. Uh, it is uh, 1 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. That is loyalty, right? Yes. Uh, we are joining her for breakfast in Australia right now. So that is wonderful. Uh, Gregory Crispo, it's great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us on the Gym Master Show, Gregory. Marade is fantastic. But to dance around like that is highly uh, unusual and rare. And she does it like melting hot butter on warm toast like it's nothing. Wow. <laughs> heard that description before i'm sure you've heard a lot no. but maybe <laughs> <That's> amazing <laughs> thanks gregory yeah yeah chris uh gregory uh, crispo that may actually be the most accurate description of uh, your amazingness thanks, so <laughs> and isi gara from uh one of our viewers here regularly on the gym master show from barcelona spain she says hello hola and uh She's happy to be here as well. And Eileen back with us from Australia. Loved Celtic Heart, beautiful violinist. Love her in York, Maine with the aspiring Tim Janice. Tim says hello, hello and sends his angels blessings. Yippee, thank you. Martha Oliver Swartz, she is in Michigan. She says hello to everybody. Christine Fairwood, she's in Connecticut. She says hello. And uh, incredible, you are very welcome. It's my pleasure to have my dear friend Renee with us here. Ken, who is in Wappingers Falls, New York, says hello, hello to everybody, and uh, Issy in Barcelona, and then here we go, here's some more from uh, Gregory, right, Nesbitt, adds a dimension to the Celtic woman that made it all work, when the older gallants got it all together, there was something to really see, I have seen as many as I can, she learned from her mom, who's a master violinist, and you sucked it up like yesterday's lunch, and she's master now. Uh, so great to watch, listen to her play. I tell you, you got some great people who really are supportive, which is great. Uh, this is loyalty. They're watching the show in their car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my sister in Florida, and my mom and sister are watching. You've got, you've heard so much about Maraid, right? There she is in the flesh. Oh. <laughs> and they, they love you too, my mom and uh, my mom Helen and my sister Lori. They're watching in Florida. I see Gary again in Barcelona. She she loves. Beautiful, beautiful, fantastica, oh, and you. Why, thank you. We we thank you. 
uh, uh, Martha says hello to Lori. You know, they all say hello to each other too. It's like one big happy family. Hello all, Kathleen represents the Irish contingent in Queens, New York. She's a great friend as well. Uh, Julie Heffernan gives the heart. Judy, Tom Fox. Judy. Woo -hoo. Uh, Tom Judy, Fox. Judy, Judy. Uh, woo hoo, Manade from Tom Fox. Welcome, Tom. Good to have you on the Gym Master Show with my very special guest, the one and only incomparable Marie Nesbitt. And she's amazing, so talented. Loved her. That's right. Kathleen was one of the people I invited to Rocktopia. I and met she, Kathleen. Yes, you did. We, yes, you did. We, oh, we went oh, after to uh, the Russian yes, room. Russian. Russian Yes, that's oh, Kathleen. That's that hi, Kathleen. Kathleen, so yeah. nice to miss you. Also, we have to get together when all this is over. <laughs> Absolutely. What a night that was. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Uh, Christine Fairwood says hello. And uh, Martha and uh, Fairy, like you're a fairy goddess. That's terrific. And they're all saying hi. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Ken. Hello, everybody here. Um, you were MC of a lot of the public television Celtic woman shows, Jim. Yes, I was absolutely. And have always enjoyed that. Um, hello, Christopher. Christopher is a uh, musician. He's in a group called the new love express, which is in, uh, Toledo, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So another uh, musical fan here that loves uh, Marade's work. Thanks, Jim. You are very welcome. Hello, Ma uh, hello, Martha. Uh, Rocktopia was amazing, wasn't it, Tom? It really was Thanks, something Tom. special and unique. Uh, more great comments. You know, there's over 70 comments coming in here. Aww. We get we get so many comments every night from our, our viewers. We really appreciate it. It's uh, Everybody just loves this. Um, for viewers that are discovering Ray Nesbitt, Celtic Violinist today, here's the website. Okay, you've got a good marketing person on the side well, here. Tom, thank <laughs> that's you. it. That's, that's, Tom, yeah, help me out too. <laughs> Jim Masters TV everywhere Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook is Jim Masters TV. Subscribe, like, oh, follow. Great. He's we, we're so all, and, and we do that with each other. We follow each other, we subscribe yeah. to each other's stuff. It's all about helping one another. Yeah. And Tom, yeah, he seems like he's really a, a great guy. And um, we've got some more comments coming in here. I can't, I can't believe I'm trying to keep up with them here, Monet. Um, she's again, loving it too. And Sharon Demaria, happy Thursday evening. Oh. All uh, it's good to see you, Sharon. Definitely check out the, the work. She was yes. Celtic woman. So many of the beautiful albums, DVDs you'll ever hear. Yes. Some of the most, yeah, you got it. Hello, Marie. It was so nice meeting you after Rocktopia. You were amazing. That's Kathleen again as well. Kathleen. Yeah. And we've got mm -hmm. some more folks here. Yes, he's really, really loving this in Barcelona, Spain, all the way from Barcelona, Barcelona. watching us. Fantastic. Yeah, and the, and the hours are a little bit different there. I think it's uh, yeah. bedtime <laughs> many <laughs> moons ago. And, oh, this is beautiful. Um, it seems it says, uh, the music world would be so plain without you, lady. Oh. Very true, very true. Yep, she was in Celtic Heart. You got that. That's right. We worked on that uh, special together with our friend Tim and all those artists and really, really breathtaking. Hope to do more stuff like that in the future. Yes. And hopefully the Celtic violinists will come and play at the Toledo Symphony Orchestra with the Toledo Symphony Orchestra. That would be an amazing performance. That. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we'll work on that, Christopher, and maybe the, she'll come out that way. Congratulations. Thanks, Maraid. Beautiful in Spanish. Yes, Carnegie, you got that. Um, Marianne Kelly, who's in New Jersey, such an inspiring performance, beckoning my Celtic roots. Yes, uh, Marianne Kelly, with a name like Kelly. There's, yeah. a lot, there's a lot of Irish in the house right now. I'm Irish on my uh, father's side, and uh, my father's mother and grandmother and that whole family, they came over from Ireland and they settled yeah. in New York. Um, bravo, and <laughs> uh, great footage of the Celtic violinist at Cal Carnegie Hall. Yes, we all we all take cell phone footage of each other. We <laughs> support each other. Such a pleasure to be at the Carnegie Hall show last year as well, Tom. It was quite an adventure sandwiching that between the shows in the different states and either side. It was a cool experience. Absolutely. And Gregory again says, but I, I loved when you locked in that you were locked in the trail on the set there and you said, well that is a fine start to the day. Never a downside with you. You really are Great. Yeah. Thanks, Gregory. Those, those things happen, bro. I know. A little inside secret there, right? <laughs> Orson Greenfield says this is a beautiful, energetic music uh, at the same time. It absolutely is. Issy in Barcelona is really loving this. And 
How are you, Mairead? Just I'm fine. Thank You're you. Doing well, and Celtic Heart. Wow. Yes. Kathleen, beautiful music. You are absolutely right. Christopher, the music with violin, harp, flute, orchestra. It's very uplifting. Oh, yeah. When all those artists and the instruments play off each other, it's really breathtaking. Christopher, beautiful performance with the harp twins right behind you. Wow. Yep. They are doing uh, brilliant as well. We hope to have them on the show. Uh, Mairead. Yep, all of them. Hillary, everybody, just absolutely terrific. Wonderful and Celtic Heart Marade. And Lynn Hillary's voice is breathtaking as well. I agree 100%. It's another uh, rock star of music. My Auntie Bernie, Bernadette Malley. Hi. Uh, is that your aunt? Yes. Oh, aunt Bernadette, how are you? Good to see you with love from Jim Masters. Thanks. <laughs> you, you have a, yeah, that way. I'm pointing that way, right? You have a beautiful and wonderful niece. She's Aww. fantastic. We all love her here. Oh, uh, she's very, a dear, dear person. <laughs> and uh, let's see, great photos of you three. Oh, there's lots of years worth of photos. That's for sure, Christopher, yeah. from our appearances and uh, social gatherings and all kinds of fun stuff. And more stuff coming in. This is really nice. Carl Armstrong, heart 100% and claps. Good to see you, Carl. Welcome to the Gym Master Show. Um, Becoming great video. Let's see. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tom, uh, yep, the website. You can get all of those wonderful things on the website. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. That's it. Thanks, oh, Tom. The scenery, Maraid. Oh, love Auntie Bernie. Love you, mm -hmm. Auntie Bernie. We love you, Auntie Bernie. And there we go, Johnny Nuts. We all know Maraid is simply the best with the fiddle violin, but she is such a lovely human. Need more like her. I agree 100%. Yeah, we, we certainly do. She's amazing. Yippee from Spain. Uh, beautiful music. What an amazing violinist from Ken. And Issy, more beautiful comments. Beautiful lady, Kathleen. That's right. You got a chance to meet her when you joined me uh, for Rocktopia. Wonderful making those violins sing. That's right, Pat. Good to see you, Pat. Welcome to the Gem Master Show. It's great to have you with us. We're here every, uh, every night, 7 p.m. Eastern, with great guests, conversation, music, fun, food. I did a whole Mother's Day brunch in my dining room where we put a whole Mother's Day brunch together at 10 in the morning. And people were, they were going crazy. I said, you're really going to join me at 10 in the morning for Mother's Day with all the brunch? And it was unbelievable. Fantastic. It was really incredible. She is so wonderful making the violin sing. Absolutely. What a beautiful, inspirational talent. Yes, she is. Catch her whenever you can. If she comes to your hometown, watch her on uh, public television and elsewhere. Um, let's see. Pat uh, Millman, uh, awesome. Tom, give some of us a chance. <laughs> there you go. You are all getting in there. She makes her violin sing. We got that. Pat, absolutely. Welcome to the show, Pat. Enjoy Mid-Aid in Boston with Rocktopia. Harlan, welcome to the show. It's good to have you with us. Hoping to catch you in Kenton, Massachusetts as well. And Issy is still there in Barcelona. Oh, my God. This is great. Um, love your energy, Mid-Aid. Every time I see you. Thanks, Jim, for having her on. My pleasure, David. I hope you'll join us regularly, 7 p.m. here on Gym Masters TV, on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, Maraid is wonderful. When I asked Maraid, because we've known each other for years, you know, professionally, but also personally, I said, Maraid, I've launched this talk show, entertainment show on Facebook and, um, and on YouTube. And she, along with a few others, hopped right on. She said, where? You just tell me where and when I'm going to be there. And, and I really appreciate that, Maraid. You were very wonderful to do that. And it's just a, another testament to the true spirit you are and what a friend, dear friend, you truly are. I really appreciate it. It's an honor, Jim. It's an honor to be on here with you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Maraid takes an hour every Monday to connect with us on Facebook. That's right, Mark. Can't wait to see who the guest is next week. It's Tim, right? Yes, it's Tim. Yes. Chavis is going our to be friend, on with me. Our this friend Tim. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. And Kathleen says, hi, Jim. Maraid, great show. Love oh, it. Oh, that's my mother. Oh, that's wait. Oh. oh, oh, that's <laughs> right, Kathleen. Oh, that that's that's Kathleen now. Right Your there. So my mom and sis in Florida are watching. Your mom and aunt in Ireland are watching. Wow, all our families are watching. Did, <laughs> hey, families, did we do good? <laughs> Thumbs Thanks. up for the families, right? More Thanks, comments. <laughs> She's beautiful, wonderful player from Dale. Dale, welcome. It's great to have you with us on the Gym Masters show. So, you know, when you get a chance to see 
I mean, I love feedback like this. This show is very interactive. Yeah. And every, I think everything I do in television or radio is a career. I like to have it interactive and give people an opportunity to share their thoughts and their feelings. Isn't it a beautiful thing when you get a chance to get feedback like that, Maraid? How does it make you feel? It is. I'm, I'm humbled by it all the time. Yes, very humbled. And um, it's really fabulous. And the fact that um, people the other side of the world in Ireland and, and that was five hours away, you know, yeah. um, they should be in bed. <laughs> and it's so, so nice that they- Or still out of Spain, Australia. Fantastic, yeah. And, and um, you know, I'm delighted my mother and my aunt are, are watching and, um, you know, it's it's really great. And to see the comments coming up like that, Jim, is lovely because we can see them clearly. And it's so nice, you know, that to get that, that support from people. Absolutely. Hello from Delaware as well. So, um, you know, the Marine Mondays thing to survive the week for. So there you've got a routine now. Uh, and what time is that? That's at yeah, 3 p.m. EST. 3 p.m. Every Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. So that's great. So you can you can watch the lovely Marade on Monday and then have your dinner and then come here and join me, Jim Masters, at 7 p.m. EST. Eastern exactly. Standard Time. <laughs> so we, we, it's, we've got the tag team of entertainment for you here. So obviously, like we've been talking about, we've been, you know, with our, our moms, we have to be on our best behavior. Our mothers are watching. <laughs> um, they, they give us a run for, for our money anyway, James. Don't they? Don't they? They sure do. Um, so what are some things that you are, that you have coming up? You mentioned uh, October and of course other things. You're just really waiting it out to see what's going to be happening as far as social distancing and the theaters opening and right. That's Pretty right. Well. That's right. I have some concerts here on the East coast and near Boston and New Hampshire and uh, from October onwards. And um, I'm uh, doing a concert with the, um, the Celtic, the Irish tenors, the yes. Irish tenors. Oh, sure, uh, yeah. That's that Ronan, Ronan Tynan and yes, Ronan, Ronan and, and Finbar, that's... Finbar, yeah, Finbar yeah. Ryan, yeah. Yeah, and so that's in the Lynn Auditorium coming up in December. Of course, we're hoping also to be back in Carnegie Hall with Tim Janice and Absolutely. then on and on. So hopefully, you know, um, all of this will, um, you know, if everybody can can go on to my website, maraidnesbettviolin.com and they can see all the all the news there of of the new dates and and the links and that kind of thing. But um, I can't wait to see everybody again. <laughs> you know, it's funny you mentioned the Irish tenors, and I've had an opportunity to interview all of them. Also, John McDermott, Frank Patterson. You know, all of the the greats okay. that have come over from Ireland. And the I used to as a kid always. My father has always said film instead of film. So I, I, I yeah, I used to say to my dad. Uh, dad, dad, it's it's not film. It's 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 film. film. So so I'm interviewing Ronan Tynan on public television, and we're talking about the Irish tenor special at the time, and he's talking about picture taking and and paparazzi and all of that. So we're live on TV, and I couldn't really necessarily react yeah. other than talking with Ronan, like I've done with you on television, and uh, he goes blah, 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 and film, and I'm standing there like where have I heard that before? <laughs> and then realized that's the the Irish way of saying film. It and is. You got it, it from is. his grandmother and his mother saying film. film. Yeah, film, yeah. Film. yeah I, I, I say that all the time myself and you know, I get the, I get, I get the odd funny look. <laughs> like film. <laughs> You're very proud of your Irish heritage and Irish culture, aren't you? Uh, I am, I am. I mean, it's, it's everything that I am, Jim, you know, it's, it's, um, it, it's what makes me me right. and um it it just i feel you know any artist whether they be a musician actor um every, everybody in that in that realm if you're just true to yourself you know and and your own culture and your where you're from then everything is genuine and everything is is just you know just comes out naturally and and i think that's that's really where i mean we're all so lucky we have such great cultures to come from yeah uh, right uh, so that's a rich culture that i have i'm very lucky 
Is there anything, you know, in your, your wonderful career? And again, you know, I've had an opportunity to chat with you on television and behind the scenes, and we've got a chance to ask a lot of different questions over the years, but, and have so much fun together too. But is there, is there anything that you foresee, like sort of on your career bucket list, Maraid, that you would love to do? I mean, television specials nationally, performed internationally, Carnegie Hall, I mean, tough to top some of the things that have Broadway, some of the things that have already happened, yeah. tough to top, but are there some things that are on the Marade bucket list that you s would love to still have an opportunity to do in your career? Well, I think, um, you know, I just love, I love performing. I, I love, um, you know, doing master classes. I, I, you know, I do all that on my website as well. Um, I also, um, you know, I'm very interested in television. I love television and I love doing things um, on in, in that realm, you know, and it's uh, it interests me, you know, so I, I hopefully will be touching off that sometime next year. So people should keep an, a lookout. I can't say anything about it yet. <laughs> but <laughs> however, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a teaser, folks? <laughs> Gives you just a little and then stops. <laughs> that's it. So that's cool, right? You and I talked about that too uh, after yeah. the Carnegie Hall when you had that wonderful evening with Tiffany and everybody yeah. doing some things. And I hope we get a chance to do some things together too because it would be a real hoot. I really I hope so. Would... You go to Ireland a lot, Jim, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We were supposed to actually go on a television shoot. Um, yeah, I think it was, well, it was supposed to be coming up this June, yeah. but, and I was supposed to go to Florida on a shoot in San Antonio, but all of that, you know, the planes are grounded, so you yeah. can't go anywhere. So okay. that's, uh, yeah, that's been, oh, some Herb, Herb, we welcome Herb Davis, and Herb says, sincerity oh. and talent, the complete talent, and it shows when she performs, you are spot on, absolutely, brilliantly said, uh, Herb, and of course, Christopher, very exciting career. As well, as well. Is there anybody too, Marie, uh, that you would love to collaborate with, work with, that you haven't yet? Wow, that's a really good question. Um, you know, the world is full of amazing musicians and singers, and there's so many, I suppose, so many. Um, you know, wow, that's a really great question. Well, from from um, doing Tim's show. Um, the Harp Twins and myself would love to do something at some stage. And, you know, there's there's so many, there's so many, Jim, you know, I've done I've done a few collaborations with the fiddle player Hilary Klug, um, and she's a, a book dancer as well. So she's a very exciting young performer. And, you know, I think, um, you know, some of my, the older musicians that I absolutely love, of course, are like people like Sting mm -hmm. and, you know, he's the most amazing musician. I'd love to 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 collaborate and do something, um, some music uh, with with people like that. I, I've I've of course I have played with Van Morrison. And I've played with with um, different different musicians. You know, Sinead O'Connor and um, so so many different ones. And every every one takes, you know, lets you kind of bring out something different out of yourself you know and that's that's the beauty of collaborating with people and i hope you know i'm here guys so. <laughs> she's, yeah. she's here. that's right yeah and, and have an opportunity to collaborate and and put you know ha, do you get asked to and i ask this of a lot of artists you know some of them uh, are known for a particular style of music particular genre of music in their careers uh, whether as a solo artist or if they're with a group, an orchestra or a band, uh, you know, a consortium, a duo, whatever it is. But do you get asked also to play different styles of music, different genres of music? You know how like the Harp Twins really play heavy metal and rock and then have gone into the Celtic and the spiritual and inspirational music. Have you been asked to do a lot of other kinds of music as well? Yeah, I have. You know, of course, Rocktopia uh, was That's was right. a, a lovely kind of um, a facet of that, and um, so that's kind of a, a mixture between uh, rock music and, and classical music. Um, I, I have a session coming up, um, which I was rehearsing for today with the band Godsmack and mm. uh, the 
great uh, singer, uh, Sully Erna, and he um, is is a brilliant singer and a brilliant drummer. He's an amazing drummer. And so he's got um, a YouTube channel, uh, Hometown Sessions. And uh, so I'm going to be on that for the, for, I, I believe for the last show uh, mm -hmm. for that uh, with them. And then, so it's, it's, it's lovely. I just love it. Uh, I love it, Jim, just, just kind of trying to get different elements out of myself for these genres, you know, and, and, and these performers help me do that. It's, it's a, it really is a, an honor, really. It's fantastic it to, to get to do it. To be considered and to be requested and to yeah. have an opportunity to create and collaborate with others. I love doing that too. It's really a beautiful thing when you get a chance to do that. And also, you know, it's a beautiful thing when you get a chance to um, inspire and empower and mentor young minds, those who are up and coming, who see somebody like you. I get asked all the time with my career in television radio, you know, how did you get started? Where did you work? What did you do? And all these different places where I've worked and, and all the years put in. And, and I try to help. I try to guide. I try to mentor. I try to lend support, maybe make some connections for people. I'm sure you get asked a lot too um, from uh, young violinists uh, that are coming up the ranks that, who really admire you and follow you and are, um, you know, they're blessed by your presence and your music and your talent. Um, tell us about the opportunities you have in inspiring young minds. Well, I think uh, it's so important, Jim, because they're the future. And right. um, to mentor, to get the chance to mentor um, or, and to inspire young musicians is a real honor. And, and my mother uh, has done it all her life and she has inspired me and other musicians all over all over the world and my father as well. So um, I, I, I suppose I get it from them, obviously. And um, then, you know, I, I have the opportunity to take uh, some of these fantastic uh, young people and older adults too for, for uh, lessons and workshops. And I, I love that because it, it really, every single, it's like an audience, every audience is different every person is different, every lesson is different. And, you know, you get to kind of, you know, really kind of figure out what they really want to do and and how they want to do it, you know? And it's, um, it really is, uh, it, it's just as fantastic for me as it is for them. Mm -hmm. you know, it brings out something different in me too, you know? Absolutely, that's right, exactly. It's sort of you're both um, experimenting and sharing and, and growing even further. And I imagine too that, you know, as you take on new music and you do things like Rocktopia and other songs, um, you see other aspects of your of your being and of your creativity and of your talent that sort of arise to the occasion, right? That you're like, gee, I never thought I was gonna be able to do something like that and here I'm doing it. Does it surprise you sometimes? Yes. Um, well, that show did surprise me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because, oh, you want me to start the whole show. Fantastic. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, it was um, that that particular um, uh, part of of uh, Baba, you know, in, in Rocktopia right. was always done on organ, you know. And That's right. so, so now we have the violin and orchestra and it's it's live, you know, as live as you like so it's um it's in it was interesting you know and then going straight you know after going a little bit crazy on the on the rock stuff you have to really calm yourself down and start mozart you right. know so what <laughs> so a transition it's a it's a it's a real um yeah the transitions and and as you said it it brought me out of myself in another way you know i'm i'm very lively on stage anyway yeah. and but I think with with Celtic music and Irish music, it it allowed me to, um, th because that's my comfort zone. It's right. so easy to be lively. It's so it's just second nature, and you know that's that's what a lot of the young players say to me. Oh, how am I going? How do I how do I move like you? I want to move like you. And I always say to them, first, <laughs> make sure your music is as best as it possibly can be, your technique, your music, everything is really sunk in and really good. And then it'll come naturally, you know? I, I never really thought of it, it just came naturally to me. But um, certainly with Rocktopia, um, you know, it was a different kind of mu uh, movement because there was a little bit of movement around the stage, but no big jumps. Yeah. It was really kind of 
you know, solid and sort of really pl planted in place. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so I think it was it was a lot of the hair. <laughs> Well, speaking of that hair, uh, I know you get asked this a million times, and I've probably asked it, you know, either backstage or just uh, casually, or maybe even on television. Does the hair ever get caught in the violin? <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> once or twice. Once or twice it has. Which is not bad for the amount of performances you've done. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I think, I think I'm really used to my hair. I, I'm used to how it moves, you know, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it's the way I hold the violin is I, I, I put it here. It's against my bone here. And this is just kind of wrapped around, like on the violin. So it do, that doesn't go too much. But I think it's this side goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> so where do you right there? Are you surrounded by violins? Do you have? I is that, yes, yeah. I am. I have a whole cabinet of violins. Ooh. I hope I'm going over yeah, there, yeah, over yeah. there. Wow. Yes, there. and they're my violins. And I have um, a wonderful guitar here as well. Now, which side is it on? Yes. It's there, there it is. Yeah, we see uh, it right there. Oh, that's ah. my viola. Oh, that's, oh look at that. That's, that's cool. viola. And then yes. the guitar is, I can't find it, Jim. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere in that room, I, right? It's over there somewhere. But it's yes, I have. I, it's great. I have. I have uh, a lot of different instruments here, and of course the keyboard. And yeah, it's it's a good room. It is. Now, if you didn't play violin, were there other instruments that uh, interested you that you really enjoy? Well, I love the cello. Yeah, so do I. I so do. I. I really love the cello, and I I I did play whistle, and I did play. Um, you know, and I could take it up again, you know, and flute I played. And um, I love those instruments too. Yeah, but I, yeah. I guess I, I, you know, I just really gravitated towards the fiddle or violin, you know. Yeah, no, I interviewed, um, it was on the radio, and I think it was about two years ago, a, a cellist uh, who went to Juilliard and was really brilliant and loved it and really very accomplished. And I said, you know, uh, whenever, and uh, I love music and my ears are always heightened to the sounds of instruments. I love instrumental music. And uh, matter of fact, I've got a uh, music group at um, Facebook that transferred over from Yahoo groups. I started a group, it was like 20 years ago on Yahoo groups called Beautiful Instrumentals and Vocals. And it's on Facebook. And there's a lot of people in the music industry, a lot of performers, musicians, record producers that are in it. And uh, I said to the cellist, I said, now this is gonna, this might sound a little strange to you, but I, I need to throw it out there because I, I wanna bounce back some feedback from you and what you think about this. I said, whenever I hear the sound of the cello, the depth and the warmth of the, the tonality of the, of the cello, the articulation, the inflections of the, of the cello, um, it literally stops me in place and I feel so very um, heartfelt, like it's actually touching my soul and my heart when I hear that warm, almost sometimes melancholy sound of a, of a cello, whether you hear it in Christmas music or any other type of music. And I said, I think that if there, for me, and just in the way I hear it, if there was an instrument that maybe, like if the heart made a sound that resembled the sound of an instrument. For me, it tends to be the cello, the warmth, that depth yeah. of that cello. And he said, you know why, Jim? And I said, no, you tell me, you're the cellist. He said, I think he said, because the cello is the closest in sound to the human voice. Oh, wow. Which is amazing. He said, and that's why you're getting sort of this, uh, you're humanizing it and you're getting this heartfelt, deep, feeling almost it stops traffic feeling when you hear the yeah. sound violin viola all of that as well flutes when they all play off guitar piano but there's something about that deep sound of the cello yes that it's, is amazing warm sound yeah do you play other instruments as well have you uh fiddled around with other instruments um, I I play, I still play the whistle and the flute a little bit, and uh, I obviously play keyboards. Play, That's I play right. Piano. And um, which, which some people might not know you do because they no, know you're just with the the violin. I know because they just see me with the with with the fiddle and 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 actually on on my Marade Mondays I play a little bit on viola too to for for people. So that that's really nice uh, because they they don't um, 
you know they don't they don't normally associate me with any other instrument so mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's great it, it that's right they don't uh it sees loving it in uh, barcelona and um i can see marade in the movies <laughs> as well and here's a question christine fairwood says does your mother give you tips on your playing still does she still give you tips Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, I I constantly am ringing my mother for the names of tunes or for for different kind of uh, questions about music and and my both my mother and my father. So it's it's uh, I'm I'm very very lucky. <laughs> very very blessed. And Kathleen says took some screenshots of you guys. Two of my favorite people. Well, we, <laughs> Kathleen, we love you too. That's very very nice of you. So, um, you know, when you get a chance to hear from people like that, it's absolutely amazing. Um, what, what right now is a typical day like for you? Because I know you're, you're very, you're still very busy, even though, you know, we've got this um, staying at home happening. Yeah, it's, it, I'm very busy at the moment. And, 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 you know, I'm, I'm so grateful and thankful for that because people are still following, are following me, obviously, on my website, on raidnesbitviolin.com and then on solstice.shop for my jewelry. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's a spring sale at the moment and anytime there's a sale, the website is busy. So it's fantastic. There's 10% off for the whole of spring off a lot of things. And so- There is 10% off a spring sale with Marie Nesbitt. <laughs> Get yours now. <laughs> Lights, camera and action, right? That's it, yeah. that's it. Am I a host or what? <laughs> I Look, the best. <laughs> hey look ken says can we hear a tune what a treat that would be oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. i have I'm hey. going to take a sip of water and well, let's do our toast, let's do our too. toast. we do a toast on this yes. show every night we toast with the guests i got my official facebook mug what do you have i have some uh i have water water actually. and i've got some green tea because I, I have some voiceover water. projects tomorrow but, um, you know and slancha slancha to friendship Yes. Love you, Maraid. You're the best. Aww, so you all. all right. Okay. So um, I, I, I took out the viola as well. Um, oh, terrific. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but I have the fiddle here. And um, let's see. Hopefully, um, uh, this, this, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, my, my fingers have gone a bit cold, but I'm going to play this. You know it, um, um, Jim. It's, it's, um, it's the butterfly. Uh, and I used to play it in Celtic one, but it's a different arrangement of it. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to give it a go, and I have I have a, a backing track here, so hopefully it'll sound nice. And now the one and only, uh, the incomparable, Marie Nesbitt. Yeah, oh, well, <laughs> now I'm going to connect this again, Jim, because we we've, we've been talking, yeah. and it's it's decided not to disconnect itself. So. <laughs> They have a mind of their own, don't they? <laughs> they have a mind of their own. So we'll see. We'll see. Has it managed to connect itself? So you're behind the scenes with Marie Nesbitt and Jim Masters. We in really our, are behind the scenes. This right. is real behind the scenes <laughs> in our in our home studios. Usually you see us on stage or TV or hear us on radio, or whatever. Oh. And now you're seeing us in the comfort of our homes, and we love having you here everybody. If you're just joining us, I am Jim Masters, your host of the Jim Masters Show with the incomparable Marie Nesbitt, our dear friend. And we are here every night, 7 p.m. Eastern and yeah. 4 p.m. Pacific on the show. So we hope you'll yeah, join us tomorrow. Do this every night. It's absolutely amazing. Amazing. So I'm going to try this again. Let's see. All right. There we go. Sounds a bit better. Sounds terrific.
Absolutely fantastic. Really, really fantastic. I actually got back working there. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So, Ken, you happy there? I'm sure everybody's happy. They're loving it. Yes. Here we go. Sandy Harlow. Hi, Jim and Renee. I love this. Love Parade. Sandy, welcome. Good to have you with us on the Jim Masters show. And live TV, LOL stuff happens, of course, all the time. That's what makes it exciting. I think that's why we still do this stuff, right? Because you never know. Um, <laughs> this is cool stuff. And uh, salute. And yeah. that was, Austin Greenfield says that was beautiful. And Herb says, yep, and amazing. Ken is very, very happy. Um, is there any, you want to play something else too? Do you have another, uh, yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I give, I'm giving my, my bow. This is my custom bow, Jim. Do you see that? Oh, picture? yes. It's cool, isn't it? That's beautiful. And, uh, Mare, good evening from Brazil. Awesome moment tonight, guys. Carla, uh, says from Brazil. Oh, wow. Thank wow. Carla. Welcome. It's great to have you with us here on the Gym Master Show. And let's see more coming in. Thanks, Braid Celtic. And loved it. So did my neighbors. The neighbors are listening as well. I would imagine your neighbors must be treated to music next door. They're like, oh, that's Maraid. I hope she doesn't stop. I love it. Uh, Chris Christine says, so great, talented. This is absolutely awesome. So take it away, lovely Maraid. Yeah, well, you know what, Jim? I have the viola here. And I this is a viola. Yes. It, it's much bigger than a violin. It's a fifth, it's a fifth down. So it's kind of going to give you a nice kind of there's a nice compromise between, you know, if you don't have a cello. <laughs> oh, look, you're gonna you're gonna laugh here. Orson Greenfield says, Jim, expect a big bill from her. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> there's no bills among friends. We all split the bill. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Well, look, I, you know, let's tune this first. You can hear how deep it is. So, um, I love this tune. It's 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 called the Sky Boat Song, and it's being used in in on Netflix at the moment for the for the series Outlander. Oh yeah, absolutely and right. Yeah, absolutely love it. I love I I just love that show for its music. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Really does the music and uh, um, but I'll I'll play something because that was fast. I'm going to play something a little bit mid tempo. So and and I hope you I hope you enjoy this. We will. I'm sure. <laughs> That is so beautiful. Oh, that, thank you. That is absolutely beautiful. And I hear the applause from all around the world <laughs> joining us as well. That is uh, that is really beautiful. And do, do you have a preference? Do you have a preference um, bef uh, between faster songs or slower, more mo moving songs? Or it's just you, li you love it all? I, I just love it all. You know, I mean, you know, the slower numbers are, are, are you know, you can get 
I suppose, more emotion out, you know, and uh, and the fast ones are such fun, though, as well. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Anything else you want to play for us that you can think of? That, oh, my uh, gosh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this working again. <laughs> 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 Jim, Jim, Jim. <laughs> see what we've got here. Oh, look. Uh, Maria, Maria, you know, uh, John Lever oh. says, you brought me to tears. It's so beautiful. Oh. I, I agree, John. Absolutely. And welcome to you, John. Good to have you here on the Jim Masters show. Um, Carla, thank you, Jim. Nice uh, live with this very violinist. Fantastic time with you both. Carla, we welcome you from Brazil. It's beautiful to have you here. Nice to be with you as well. Um, let's see. Austin Greenfield says music. It costs thousands of dollars to listen to, but you get it free right here on the Jim Master Show. Wow. And of course, you go to her website if you want more because she has DVDs and CDs and she's got the violins too. That's the other thing. Before we do another song, um, you have this amazing violin collection. Yeah. Let's talk about that because I don't think people realize that they can actually get a violin. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, the violins I'm playing now uh, with, with um, uh, are on my website and I love to play them because I've handpicked them out and um, they and, you know, it's just been a fantastic thing for me to be able to do this because as a child, I used to warm up instruments and and then have to give them back to to uh, be sold because they would they would open up and the sound would open up. So I learned a lot about violins, I right. suppose. And now I have my own collection and it's on my website uh, uh, with with everything else there. And of course, this is my custom bow as well. And it comes in different hair colors as well. So it's, you know. <laughs> and is that one sort of a pink or? That's yeah. a hot pink. That's a hot pink. It's hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. We've got another comment yeah. coming in here from Kenneth Benfield. Enjoying your joint show, especially and always my favorite little Elfie. It's a real treat to listen to you live. The viola rendition, love always. Kenneth uh, Benfield. Thanks, Ken. Thank you very much, Kenneth. It's a wonderful honor to have you here on the Gym Masters show. I hope you'll make us a regular part of your diet. Oh, and, you. uh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's, I my, to that's my sister and mother. Oh, and, my goodness. Yeah. Well, I have well, to play Danny Boy sister then. Sister Lori and mom. And uh, let's see, Austin Greenfield says, thank you, Jennifer, for giving us beautiful music tonight. And thank you to Mairead as well. She's amazing. I so love I guess to play it on the viola, Jim. I think it would be lovely. So we have, um, oh, uh, Herb asks, do you test each violin before it ships? I guess he wants to know. Um, yes, they are completely set up. And um, they're, uh, I, I wor work in conjunction with my luthier uh, in, in New York and, and they are completely set up. They're handpicked by me, but they're set up by them and, and to make sure everything is perfect. And that's right. the one thing people have said to me as well. Apart from the sound, every sound of the violin, um, of each violin is different, but it's, it's incredible. Um, you know, the people have come back to me and said, not not only to mention is the instrument excellent, but when it came, it's set up perfectly. Because sometimes you can, a violin can come to you and you have to bring it to a luthier to set it yeah. up separately, right. you know. So right. that's just, uh, and basically with every with every violin order, all the accessories, like you see these, uh, this coon. Uh, oh yeah, the sure. Mm -hmm. The very brilliant it's the only one i use uh shoulder rest plus um youths and rosins my custom rosin and um all of all of these are included in the sale of every violin plus uh you get a free violin lesson with me online as well Ooh, wow it's, <laughs> it's it's the full deluxe package folks it is. <laughs> <laughs> supplies are limited order now yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. fantastic so, Thank uh, you for that, Jim. Long time, uh, Craig A. Tash, long time fan. Uh, could you please play Isle of Hope and Tears as well? One of the favorites. So. Oh, one of your favorites. Yeah. yeah. So um, you're going to do Danny Boy now, right? Yeah, let's let's play. I, I'm going to try it on the viola. And if, okay. if, if I don't do a good job, I'll switch to the violin. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a brilliant job as always. <laughs> Thank you. 
Beautiful, very, very beautiful. The so, as well. <laughs> you know, you can really see the passion too. You're, you're, the smile that you have when you're doing it. I mean, I think you're getting as much pleasure out of it as the listener, as the audience, right? I really do. You know, I, I think it's, I think it's so. You know, if 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 it's important to transport. Uh, people, you know, uh, when you're playing, and and you get transported yourself too. So that's a it's a win win, really. I think. Absolutely, got a couple more comments coming in here quickly. Oh boy, uh, wow! Here we go. Martha Oliver Swartz says your music and your aura that you put out is amazing. Can feel your deep music deep in her heart. Aww. That is beautiful. Thank you. I'm thinking purchasing entry level for my granddaughter. That's Herb Davis. Uh, the, vi the violin, that's wonderful. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, I agree. Uh, they have been on television shows. These songs are so good, they should be played in movies. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> enjoy <laughs> enjoy uh playing tonight. Danny Boy will have dropping tears in my pint. Aww. I love that, John Monaghan. That's a good way to put it, tears in the pint. Good to see you, John. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. Martha Oliver Swartz says, oh, wow. Just close your eyes and feel your body relax and move deep in your soul. Uh, and my sister and mother there in Florida say absolutely beautiful. I love Aww. that as well. And thank you for doing I that. I mean, that's glory. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. And, and again, it brings you great, great joy that you get, you get a chance to do something that you love so much, right? You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's um and these comments are so lovely coming in too. <laughs> now that other gentleman had another request. Did you did you want to play that request? I don't know if you have time or. Yeah, um, um, I love, I love hope, I love tears. It's more of a song, but um, if I can remember the chorus of it, but I, I, uh, it's more of a, a song for a. It's a big, big anthemic song. Vocal, no vocal uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Kathleen says, thank you for making me smile. Yeah. You see in Barcelona, loved it as well. If you're just joining us, folks, thanks. It's a wonderful night of music, fun conversation with my dear friend, Ray Nesbitt from her home studio and my home studio here on the Gym Masters show. <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the, 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 I think this is the chorus that, that they, they might like, I think of Isle of Hope. So it's... Something like that. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. I, it's like, that's a long time since I played that. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it. Lickety split I'm right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maraid, I tell you, it's it's always a delight to have an opportunity to engage with you and, and catch up with you because, again, you are truly a, a, a you know breath of fresh air, a ray of sunshine, and, and I'm, I'm so honored and happy that we got a chance to meet uh, way back when we did. And if anybody is joining us late in the game, I'll just uh, show them some of the 
photos when we first met way back. And I think it was a blessing. Again, there we are. Uh, the very first time I interviewed Maraid with Lisa Kelly from Celtic Woman. Uh, they were in the uh, public television studio. And there we go again. And just years and years worth of uh, phenomenal conversation, laughs, great music, great times, meeting so many incredible folks. That's at Carnegie Hall. That is as well. And uh, beautiful photos. Wonderful Tim Janice. That's there we are there as well. I know, I know it's like it's like being on a rocking boat, isn't it? And there's the whole gang of Celtic Heart. And this was in New York City with a lot of the gang. That was a beautiful shot. And um, again, over the years, some fun times as well. This is where we were doing the backstage behind the scenes interviews for Celtic Heart. Good times uh, after a long day of work. Good times, OMG. How many times do we say that over the course of our lives? Uh, there's the, one of the original photos from when uh, we got a chance to work with uh, Renee and Lisa and Chloe and Lynn and uh, Alex, the whole yeah. Celtic, Celtic woman gang. That's a beautiful picture there. That's the whole, Great picture. The whole gang there. And uh, so many laughs and just so much, so much fun times. And again, it's a real blessing, Renee. And, um, now you're gonna soak your feet and just go <laughs> in a bathtub. I think and, I will. <laughs> <laughs> that's been a long because people don't know, but a lot of times you jump around on stage actually barefoot too, right? I mean, you give your feet I a do. workout. I do. All my concerts now are, are all barefoot, actually, and um, I, I find it actually grounds me, Jim. I think I just find that uh, it, it it makes it easier for me. Right. And, right. Uh, right. Just to it's, get into the movement. Yeah, yeah, you feel more grounded. It's like the sensation you get when you're walking on a beach barefoot too. You feel yeah. grounded, connected to the earth. Do you check? <laughs> do you check the stage in in advance for possible splinters? <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm lucky because any stage I've been on, they they check all that. So Make it's sure. really I know because actually uh, they do it for themselves too because yeah. they 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 like things to not not to have a problem. <laughs> And, or too slippery either, too, especially yes. if you're barefoot. You know, sometimes yeah. they wax the floor or, you know. Correct, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Grammy and Emmy-nominated artist, composer, founding member of the Global Phenom, Celtic Woman, Rocktopia, Celtic Heart, her own violin line, jewelry line, and so much more. You are very, very special in my life and the lives of so many people. Oh. And I'm so, you know, when you get a chance to... Uh, uh, commiserate with people and stay friends. You know, we were we were we were paired together uh, for a professional situation on public television to interview you. You were coming in, Celtic Woman was new, but the fact that we and some of our other friends we've stayed together this long is truly a blessing. It really, really is. And I love you very much, Maraid, and I wish you continued success. Everything the best to your your mom and Aunt Bernadette who's watching, and my mom and sis and our loved ones, and. Um, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. We'll have more good times, more fabulous music, conversation, laughs, food, all the fun things we like to do. Thanks so much, Jim, for having me. You're the best and you're such a great person. And thank you. I really appreciate being on. So lovely to talk to you. It is wonderful to talk to you as well. And we will chat again soon. Thanks so much for being my guest on the Jim Masters Show. Love you very much, Maraid. You Love take you, care. Jim. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye bye now. Take care. Uh, the wonderful Maraid Nesbitt. Is she not amazing or what? Thank you for joining us, everybody. I am your host, Jim Masters. You're watching the Jim Masters Show. Uh, just to let you know, we are here every single night, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, right here on Facebook at Jim Masters TV and YouTube at Jim Masters TV. Tell your friends we have great guests. We have all kinds of terrific conversation and uh, special moments with special people. We also have some themed shows as well. Sometimes we even go and I take the cameras out on location and we visit some on location spots as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We had such a fantastic week. We had Pavlo, the international uh Wonderful Greek guitarists uh, earlier in the week. We've had Rain Pryor, daughter of Richard Pryor. We've had so many fantastic folks. And coming up next week, as I mentioned, we've got amazing people with us next week as well. I just want to give you a little preview. I'll be back tomorrow night, too. We've got a special show. We also have a viewer of the week. We're celebrating another viewer of the Jim Masters show. We had a, a terrific night last Sunday where we celebrated one of our faithful viewers, Kathleen Walker, and she was 
totally shocked by it all, but it was absolutely um, beautiful. I want to show you some of the guests again that are coming up uh, next week on the Gym Masters show. The oh, unbelievable television and film actor and a dear friend of mine, Tony Lobianco, will be with us here with a very special Memorial Day episode. Uh, and he's got a very special moving video that is going to be uh, sort of debuting here on the show with us. That's going to be beautiful. Liz Kiefer, as I mentioned, award-winning actress who starred for 27 years on CBS in the soap opera Guiding Light. She's going to be with us as well. And again, a host of fantastic people that are going to be joining us here on uh, on this broadcast. And we really appreciate you being with us as well. So if you had a wonderful time, we say thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much. Um, I just want to do the wrap that I always like to do here on the show for everybody watching. And I always say, relax. I say, breathe. You know, we're going through some real unprecedented times. Uh, and when we can count our blessings, I mean, the fact that you're there and I'm here and we have our loved ones, we have our friends, check in with your loved ones, check in with your friends, put a smile on their face. Uh, Mairead and I uh, wanted to do that for you today. And again, I was so blessed that when I asked her, would you like to be on the show? She hopped on board right away. And a lot of these friends are, are doing that in music and in television and in film and and authors and writers and scientists, a whole host of people that have been with us. And uh, it's been a great three weeks thus far. So relax, breathe, try to inspire, try to empower people. If your day gets tough, if your day gets rough, count the blessings. Think about the joys in your life. We, we all have blessings around us. And sometimes we often forget that. We get caught up in the day's news. We get caught up in, in things that sometimes we can't control and we can't necessarily control everything in our lives, but we can control how we respond to it, how we react to things in our lives. So if you can relax, and I mentioned uh, that we got this in Newport, Rhode Island years ago, and it's a 1920s beach scene. And, and ever since I look at this every once in a while, because I have to remind myself too, uh, in the crazy TV radio business that I'm in, to relax, to breathe, and um, bring a sense of joy to others, and of course, to yourself. We are here every night, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, a whole new show every single night. We do different themes, different topics, music, food, nostalgia, trivia, fun, guest interaction, special guests, and the show is just growing by leaps and bounds. I can't believe we just launched the Gym Master Show about three weeks ago. As I mentioned, I do this professionally, you know, as a TV radio host, journalist, actor, the whole thing. And I said, you know, I've got a little free time. Let's put this together. And, and I really, really appreciate the outpouring of support, the love, everybody sharing the links, having watch parties. Everybody's telling everybody about the show. We built this set here. Uh, and we've been tweaking it and doing different elements to it. And it's just been a true honor and a blessing to have this opportunity to do it. And we've heard today from Australia, Spain, Brazil, England, Ireland, Italy, across the United States, Canada. And um, it really moves me like it moves Maraid, my very special dear friend and guest, Maraid Nesbitt. We're very moved when we get a chance to hear from people like you who are touched by the things that we do, the, the, the work that comes not necessarily effortlessly for us. There's a lot of work that we, the key is to make it look easy, um, to make things look easy. But there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and, and sacrifice and work that goes into all of the kinds of work that we do, Marade as well. So, and, and I'm sure you as well with the work you may do. So, um, but it's a blessing and it's a joy. And when we get feedback like, we've been getting, uh, even in my professional career, I've always been humbled by feedback and, and I always appreciate it. And um, it moves me. It also drives me to continue to do what I do. And everything I do, I wanted to inspire people. I wanted to empower people. I wanted to make a difference in people's lives. Doing the Gym Masters show is really an outlet for me to be able to do that. Because again, I do this professionally and hosting all kinds of different television radio shows. And I have done that for years. And I've worked with a lot of amazing and beautiful people. But to come to you directly like this from the home studio 
is an honor and a blessing. And I, I invite you to join me 7 p.m. Eastern, Jim Masters TV on Facebook and on YouTube. We have more fabulous um, comments coming in. If you're just joining us, I welcome you. I know a lot of folks have been joining us the last three weeks. Um, I just want to say, show you, because I'm very interactive too. I do believe in bringing you in and hearing from you as well. And thank you for making me smile, beauty. You are very welcome, Kathleen and Issy in Barcelona, absolutely. And uh, as well, we thank Maraid and um, it's absolutely beautiful to have you here as well. Martha Oliver Swartz, Jim, since uh, she is a violinist fairy, can I please put her in my fairy garden? Oh yeah, uh, she is building a fairy garden and I can't wait to see the pictures at her home in Michigan. And uh, if you weren't with us last night, we had uh, award-winning comedian Bill Hildebrandt on, and we were laughing for about an hour and a half. He was funny. Um, truly a blessing to have such a gift that you have. Uh, well, Maraid and I both thank you. Um, Kathleen, you're, you're a blessing to have in our lives as well. Uh, Issy, beautiful photos. Thank you very much. Uh, watching Renee play is a bonus. Absolutely. And stay tuned because we have a lot of great guests coming up. Oh, boy, I can't keep up with all these uh, photos. Danny Boy was a blessing, and she played that for my mother and my sister who are in Florida. And that's just Maraid. She's just a very kind soul. And we're kindred spirits. We sort of get each other. And, and Pavlo, the other night, too, he and I get each other. Um, and wait till you hear Loretta LaRoche. Do not miss next Thursday. Loretta LaRoche, she is an award-winning, Emmy-winning humorist and stress management expert. And she is absolutely her hilarious. She's had public television specials. I interviewed her on public television. We've stayed friends, which I tends to happen with a lot of people that, uh, you know, I meet, we become friends. Uh, we want to do some projects together too. She mentioned today, she would love to do some things with me. So I hope we, we work on that. Uh, she is hilarious. She's going to have you rolling around laughing next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, because she's going to reduce her stress. But her, she is so witty. She is so funny. And she talks about the craziness of life, all the little nitpick things that we all you know, get hung up on in our lives. So she's an author, a stress management expert, and she's a humorist, Loretta, Loretta LaRoche. And uh, she had two specials on television, and she does TED Talks, and she does corporate meeting um, speaking. She's just amazing. Craig, thank you for playing the I Love Hope and Tears. Uh, you're my favorite Celtic woman. Craig, I'm so happy that uh, she was able to do that for you here on the show. Adds so much more to the experience. Thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate that. I was going to ask about splinters. Yes. Uh, there's been times when I've been with Maraid behind the scenes because I've emceed the concert. Um for public television or for the artists themselves. And uh, and I noticed when we were filming Celtic Heart up in Maine, the PBS special with Tim Janis, that she was barefoot. And when she got off stage, I said, hey, uh, Maraid, are you always barefoot when you do this? And she said, yeah, you know, I just feel more grounded and it gives her more spring in her step. So she really, um, just feels just very connected when she's doing it barefoot. So a lot of times when you see her spinning around and doing all the wonderful uh, acrobatics that she does with her music, she's she tends to be barefoot. Beautiful gowns, beautiful everything, but barefoot. Because again, uh, some people do that. You know, there are people, how do you know I'm not in shorts right now? You only see from here up. I could be in, I could be in tennis shorts or a bathing suit. You really don't know. <laughs> Like the sports anchors do sometimes. They wear uh, sneakers and shorts behind the news anchor desk. Um, it's <laughs> so uh, we thank everybody for joining us here. Just I want to throw in here some more. All right. Um, thank you, Jim. Great Thursday night. Mark, thank you very much. I hope you'll spread the word, share the links. Um, this is what I do for a living, but I wanted to do it on social media. So we launched the Jim Masters show live on Facebook and also YouTube. You can go back in the archives if you wanna see the shows we've done so far in just the three weeks, you can go back in the archives at YouTube at Jim Masters TV. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, love to have you there. And if you have a, you guys have a channel, I'm very, very big on 
you know, one helps the other. And I'll subscribe back to your channels. If you're on Instagram, you can find me on Instagram at Jim Masters TV. I'm also on Twitter at Jim Masters TV and right here on Facebook at Jim Masters TV. And some more comments coming in as well. You are very welcome. You are very, very welcome as well, Wesley. Yeah, Wesley, it's good to have you here. Uh, I'm sure Maraid feels that love and it's so great to have you with us, Wesley. Thank you very much for joining us. Beautiful to have you here. Beautiful to have everybody here as well. Issy tells me to relax. Yes, I know. Been a very busy day for Maraid, a very busy day for me as well. Tomorrow I have to do some voiceover work for a lifestyle travel TV series that I host on CBS and CW or Fox affiliates. As she mentioned, Hillary. Kolg, she is interesting fiddle player, dances, sings, plays fiddle all at the same time would be good. Thank you for the show. It is my honor and pleasure, Herb, and I appreciate it. I'd love to know where some of you are from, you know, what towns, what cities, what countries. Again, we've heard from Brazil tonight. We've heard from Spain, um, you know, so many different areas, Ireland and uh, Lithuania and uh, Vancouver and Toronto and Los Angeles. It's beautiful. Kathleen, thanks for being with us. Now, you're going to laugh, folks, initially, initially. And Ken and some of the other regulars that we have will tell you, when I put this whole show together three weeks ago, it was only supposed to be an hour. I mean, hosting, producing, lighting, writing, scripting, booking, doing the whole thing. Uh, it's a lot of work behind the scenes to build up to it, right? So it was only supposed to be an hour, just an hour. But then we've started having so much fun with you, even the nights we don't have guests, where we just do all kinds of cool themes and we do food and cooking and all, all kinds of fun stuff. It's just grown by leaps and bounds. So I don't know. I will tell you one thing. I do always say this on the show, and uh, it sounds a little Pollyanna, but hey, what the heck? The alternative is not so hot, right? I think all of you are stars. I do this on every show on the Gym Masters show. This is from me to you. I think all of you are stars. The fact that you're here with us, the fact that you've taken time out of your evening. Some of you, it's, uh, you know, three, four o'clock in the morning in uh, Europe and other parts of the world, and you're still here with us. I appreciate that. And of course, our sidekick, George Burns, appreciates that. Television comic legend, George Burns. He's with us. He's our sidekick. He thanks you as well. Again, the audience are the ones who said they want to have George Burns stay on the show. I just had him on a nostalgic night a couple of weeks ago, and you guys fell in love with him. And of course, uh, I dream a genie, the wonderful I dream a genie. She's still in there. She says good night. And Silver says good night, the canine from Europe. And also, thank you very much. You guys have been sending me letters and texts and uh, uh, Facebook messages gifts. I mean, I, it's unbelievable. I really appreciate this. Um, you don't have to, but it's very nice to connect with you. And of course, Jimmy, the uh, clown, you got to have some fun, right? You got to lie. You got to lighten it up. Life can be a serious uh, gig. So you got to lighten things up. Be happy. All right, everybody. Remember, you relax, you take care, be good to each other, love one another. I toast you all as I always do to with our Facebook mug. We got this when I was uh, visiting Facebook. I was invited to the headquarters of Facebook in Menlo Park, uh, California. I got a chance to go there, tour Facebook, the actual headquarters, and have lunch with a colleague there who uh, is a change agent. He works with the staff dealing with all the swift change that happens uh, you know, with uh, social media and internet. It's a cool mug. So we've got some green tea in there, uh, just some hot green tea. Sometimes we usually have some wine. Last night, we think we had a little bourbon. Uh, just some hot tea because I got some voiceover work tomorrow. So to you, let's see, we'll straighten it out there. And everybody on YouTube, I'll have to get a YouTube mug as well, an Instagram mug. Uh, to you and you and you and you and you and you and you. I am your host, Jim Masters. We thank our very, very special and delightful guest and dear friend, Celtic violinist, composer, artist, beautiful person, Maraid Nesbitt, for spending a good deal of time with us. She played for you and for me as well, which was a delight. I really appreciate her doing that. And um, we got some more 
coming in here. Fabulous show, Jim. You are very, very welcome. It is my pleasure. Issy in Spain and Barcelona. Yeah, it's way past your bedtime in Barcelona, Issy. Class dismissed. You're able to, you, you, you were hanging in there and we really appreciate that. And uh, again, thanks. And Martha in Michigan says, listening while you are driving. Mm, appreciate that. However you can watch or listen, we're here all the time for you. So Jim Masters here, thanking you for your time, this time till next time, right here on the Jim Masters Show. Spread the word, tell your friends, this show will get as big as you want it to. Uh, again, we're doing this for you. I do this for a living, but I wanted to do it for you here on social media. Take a little sip of the tea. Hmm. That's delicious. Uh, instant classic. Yes, Ken. Ken, thank you very much. You've been with us for the full two hours. This one is a topper. This one is a topper. I keep saying I'm going to try to get it under two, uh, an hour, but we'll see. Maybe tomorrow night we'll do a quickie. Um, some fun stuff. We'll be back tomorrow night and Saturday. We've got great guests all next week. Don't go anywhere. Spread the word for us. We could really uh, appreciate that. Jim Masters TV, Facebook, YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, Instagram, Twitter, 7 p.m. Eastern. Tell your friends uh, to come join us and have some fun with us here on the Jim Master. You know, it's very hard to say goodbye because there's still a lot of people watching. I'm looking, there's a lot of people that are still there. I can't believe it. Maybe I should tell some jokes. You know, I've told jokes on this show too on Saturday nights. We do a disco ball behind us and we do a whole Saturday night thing. Um if there are some themes, ideas too, some things you would like me to do, I've got a whole format of shows coming up, but if there's some things you'd like me to do show-wise, thematically, just shoot me a note at jimmasterstv at gmail.com. That's jimmasterstv at gmail.com or send me a message on uh, Facebook as well, private message, and maybe we've got some ideas and maybe we can incorporate some of that in future episodes of our talk show and entertainment show series here on Facebook and YouTube. All right. I think for the 90th time, we're saying goodbye. Thank you for your time this time till next time. Love you all. Thanks for all the love, all the support. It means a great deal. It's really heartfelt and I appreciate your loyalty and watching and stay tuned. We've got a lot of cool shows, fun shows coming up, great guests and so much more. So for all of us here, everybody here at the Gym Master Show, for all of you around the world, you have a wonderful night, a great day tomorrow. I'll be back right here in this host chair, 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night. I hope you're here as well. If not, we're here the next night and the next night and the next night. You guys take care. You be well. Love you all. And have a good night from all of us here at the Gym Masters Show. Good night.